I have so many different crypto wallets. I tried them all, but there are very few I actually trust with my crypto. In this video, I'm going to break down why this wallet here, the Engrave, is my favorite wallet and how you can get an awesome discount on it. And this isn't a sponsored video. This is my honest opinion, but full disclosure, I was sent one of these over for free to review and I loved it so much that I switched over to it as one of my main wallets. I'm going to break this review down into key aspects and score each one independently, starting with the big one, security. Security is the most important factor to consider when looking for a wallet. Your wallet needs to be impenetrable. Well, the standout feature of Engrave is that it's air-gapped, meaning that the wallet doesn't come into contact with the internet. It has no Wi-Fi, 5G, Bluetooth or NFC. Instead, it works with QR codes. Engrave uses a camera that can scan QR codes from an app on your phone, but you can also use your phone to scan QR codes that appear on the Engrave wallet screen. Your seed is on this device, and it's impossible for this device to access the internet, so in theory, it's impossible for your seed phrase to be hacked. Now, you might be thinking, how do you update the software without the internet? There's a USB-C port on the Engrave which you use for updates. Now, the important part to note here is that the updates are completely separate from the security side of the device. There is no access between the USB-C port and where your seed phrase is stored. And talking about seed phrases, the Engrave will randomly generate a seed phrase for you when you set up the device using their perfect key generation process. This process is fully offline and uses a mix of the seed generation chip, unique environmental factors like your biometrics and the level of light detected by the camera, and user interaction. It uses all of these things together to generate a completely unique key, a key that will never be exposed to the internet, making it incredibly secure. And that's why Engrave gets a 10 out of 10. Now, Let's look at compatibility. It's all well and good having a secure wallet, but it's useless if it doesn't support many cryptos. Engrave doesn't have that problem. It supports all the major cryptos like Bitcoin, ETH, BNB, XRP, Solana, Matic, Litecoin, the list goes on and on. It also supports all tokens on Ethereum and NFTs. Nice. That's right. You can secure NFTs on your Engrave, which is huge. Finally, it includes tokens on the Multiverse X chain. I would like to see support for some of the newer chains, but the list is expanding regularly right now. So I give it a seven out of 10 for compatibility, but I hope this increases soon. The next area we want to look at is usability. You might be thinking, how can you make transactions without the internet? Well, that's where the Liquid Mobile app comes in. Available on Android and iOS, the app allows you to send and receive crypto to and from your Engrave without the wallet or seed phrase ever leaving the device. Here's how it works. You start a transaction on the mobile app. Your app gives you a QR code that you can scan with the Engrave wallet. On the wallet screen, you can check the transaction details, make sure they're correct and sign the transaction request offline with both your fingerprint and eight digit pin. Your Engrave wallet will then give you a QR code which you can scan with the mobile app and the transaction is done. There are a few moving parts here and I'm not gonna lie, it's a little more involved than some of the other wallets, but this is the price you pay for keeping your seed completely offline. I personally hate connecting my wallet via Wi-Fi or a cable to do a transaction, so these extra steps are fine by me for the increased security. The app itself is modern and easy to use, as is the wallet itself. It has heaps of cool features like portfolio tracking and easy creation of new wallets. The usability and app get an 8 out of 10 for me. Support is a really important factor when deciding on a wallet. If something goes wrong, you want speedy support to get things working again. The support responses are on par with the biggest competitors. That being said, I think support for wallets should be better industry-wide. I would love to see live chat instead of email tickets, but that's not an Engrave only issue. To get support for your Engrave, you send an email and they usually respond in a few hours. Given their response time is as fast as their competitors, I will give them seven out of 10 for support. 
If I have one complaint about the engrave, it's the pricing. It is significantly more expensive than its competitors, starting at $398 for the base unit versus $279 for the Ledger Stacks and the Trezor Model T at just over $219. This feels like one of those you get what you pay for scenarios. The device is so good and so secure, the extra outlay makes sense if you have the money. However, there is no denying the engrave is expensive when compared to other top tier wallets. So sadly, I am going to have to give it a six out of 10 for price. You can back up like you would most other wallets, which is writing down your seed phrase on a piece of paper. If this was it, then Engrave would get a 5 out of 10 for backup because it's the same as most competitors. But Engrave has a really cool optional backup tool called Graphene. This consists of two encrypted stainless steel plates. These plates are unbreakable unless you try really hard to break them. They are of course fire and water resistant too. The way these plates work is that separately they're worthless, but together they reveal your seed phrase. So after stamping your seed phrase onto the bottom plate, you can store these two separately. And if someone were to find one, it would be useless to them. But put them together and your seed phrase is revealed. You might be thinking, what if you lose a plate? Well, the upper plate is completely unique, but it comes with a backup code. If you lose the plate, you can use the backup code and Engrave will send you a top plate. The bottom plate is of course not something you can back up, so I recommend getting two plates and making copies. Technically speaking, you can also get a similar size piece of paper and put it under the top plate to make copies. That way, if you want more copies, but you're too cheap to buy the bottom plates. Given this unique and awesome way to back up your seed phrase, I will give Engrave a 9 out of 10 for backup. Next is design. This is subjective but I really love the look and build quality of the engrave. It feels good, it looks nice, it has a big screen, it is intuitive and easy to use. The screen is huge on the engrave. It's the biggest screen of any wallets I've tested, which makes it easy to use, easy to see transaction info, and just for general use. But this all comes at a cost. This is the engrave. And these are a few other wallets I own. And as you can see, the engrave is massive. And it's a chunky boy weighing in at 217 grams, almost 10x more than any of my other wallets. If you want a wallet that's easy to carry around, the engrave might not work for you. But keep in mind, 217 grams is around the same weight as an S23 Ultra or an iPhone 15 Plus. So it's not too bad. I don't really mind this, to be honest, because I love the extra screen space. And if you care about having a portable wallet, this thing has some serious girth. Overall design gets an eight out of 10 because it looks and feels good. Plus it has a big screen, which is a massive plus for me. Unlike a lot of wallets, the engrave has a roadmap and the stuff on there is really exciting. Max is in progress right now is trust wallet integration and passphrases. They are adding ADA and most excitingly, the Binance Smart Chain. Now, not a lot of wallets support BSC. They also have BTC multisig upcoming, MetaMask integration, and more very soon. Now, all of this is awesome and deserves a solid nine out of 10, but sadly I need to remove a few points because despite the software getting some exciting updates, it isn't open sourced. I like open source software as there is community oversight. The community might no notice mistakes that the devs miss. Engrave has stated that it will be going open source, but since they aren't yet, I will have to give them an eight out of 10. Overall, the Engrave scores a solid eight out of 10, with the standout features being security, usability, and backup. I would love to see a lower price and open sourcing of their software. But other than that, it's easily one of my favorite wallets, if not my favorite. The air gapping is great and the big screen just makes life so much easier. If you want 10% off the Engrave, then you can use the coupon code ENGRAVEXLOC. You can also find it in the description below. For now though, guys, remember, trade smart, don't be a dumbass, and I'll see you soon.